In today's competition for world markets, British-made products must, more than ever, uphold their traditional reputation for quality. To manufacture quality products and to market them at competitive prices, at the same time maintaining or improving profit margins, requires the most advanced manufacturing methods. Much depends on the machine tool manufacturer and the efficiency and precision of his products. An important quality problem in engineering is the circular spacing errors of the teeth of a gear wheel. The total composite error in this gear is 14 ten thousandths of an inch, a widely accepted standard of accuracy. A second gear, examined under the same conditions, has a total composite error of only 4 ten thousandths of an inch. This shows an improvement over the first wheel of 10 ten thous, or 3.5 to 1. Yet both gears were cut on the same hobbing machine. How then was this improvement achieved? It was done with the aid of optical gratings. An optical grating is a surface on which there is a very large number of lines spaced with great regularity so that it has the essential property of a measuring scale. Linear gratings are a product of research carried out by the National Physical Laboratory at Teddington using a method suggested by Sir Thomas Merton in 1949. To produce better and cheaper diffraction gratings for spectroscopy and other scientific work, he proposed that a continuous line turned on a lathe would contain fewer errors than a series of straight lines drawn on a reciprocating machine. So, at the National Physical Laboratory, the master of a linear grating is impressed on an optically polished cylinder by a diamond. To ensure the greatest accuracy, any minute errors in this high precision lathe are further reduced by use of a grating controlled servo system acting on the cutting diamond. The cylinder is next coated with a plastic material, which when dry is carefully stripped off and flattened out. The impression of the helix now appears as a series of parallel straight lines. These are the source of the photographic copies of linear gratings for use in practical applications. Photographic copies are also available of radial gratings. These are made at the National Engineering Laboratory at East Kilbride in Scotland, which is concerned with research into all problems of mechanical engineering including the application of optical gratings to machine tools. Ferranti Limited were the first industrial concern to exploit the possibilities of this new measurement system. For six years, in collaboration with the National Physical Laboratory, they pioneered its application to machine tools. The Ferranti reading head was arranged so that it could divide each fringe pattern into four, thus allowing measurements to be made equivalent to a quarter of the distance between the lines of the gratings. That is to say, a dimension to one ten thousandth of an inch is obtained from gratings of 2,500 lines per inch by dividing the fringe pattern into four. If the fringe pattern could be subdivided into smaller parts, say 40 instead of four, then the same fine measurement could be obtained from coarser gratings, which are cheaper to make. This problem also interested the Stavely Research Department, which serves the Stavely group of companies by research in physics and mechanical engineering. Stavely Research and the National Physical Laboratory delegated members of their staff to collaborate. Some of the development work concerned the mechanical design of the reading head, but the main improvement resulting from this partnership was the development of electronic circuits for fringe subdivision. In the Stavely reading head, 
four photoelectric cells provide the signals required by the control equipment for it to subdivide each fringe pattern into about 50 parts. This equipment, if used with a coarse grating of about 100 lines per inch, is able to meet the majority of engineering requirements up to a very accurate standard. Advances have since been made in respect to the gratings themselves and in the means of reading them. This is a reflection grating on a polished steel strip. It has an obvious advantage over a glass mounted one. Advances in machine tool design incorporating these new techniques demand early cooperation between the mechanical engineer responsible for the overall development, the electronic specialist whose contribution is the design of control circuits and ancillary equipment, and the specialist in optics who can advise on the types of lenses required and on the mounting of the gratings themselves. Yet a combined team of mechanical engineers, electronic and optics specialists will still need and can count on the great experience already gained by the National Engineering Laboratory and the National Physical Laboratory from research into the application and production of optical gratings. This experience is readily available to all machine tool makers and users. Collaboration cannot fail to be profitable in every sense of the word.